Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Guys of Magic. This is Hunter, David, Shane, and Steven. Say what up, boys. What's going on? Hello. What's up, nerds? We are back. This time, we are doing our $100 pre-con battle from the new pre-con decks from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. If you've already done all of these upgrades, if you haven't seen them already, check the description down below. You will find links to all of those videos, as well as all the deck lists we are playing with today. Before we get started, let's go around the table and talk about what our decks are doing, starting with David. Yeah, so I am going to be playing the uh, Orza Vampires deck from this set. Pretty straightforward. It's just kind of like a mid rangey wanting to swing in, take advantage of our creatures, and then um, if our creatures die, it's okay because we just make demons out of them. I'm going to be playing Simic Merfolk. I'm going to be going wide. I'm going to be exploring and hopefully killing you guys. Yeah, I am the Dino deck. Uh helmet by Pantlaza. Gonna be doing a bunch of dino stuff as well as some cool discover mechanic. And I'm doing Admiral Brass Unsinkable. Uh, and I'm gonna be playing around with my graveyard and hoping nobody has any exile effects. Right guys? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that would really suck. Right guys? <laughs> right. Well, we are shuffled up, ready to play. Kick it off, starting with David. All right, I'm going to draw a card. That's a card. I'm going to play a Voldaren Estate. So we're going to start off with a Vampire Land. Um, I will tap this for a Colorless, and I will play a Soul Ring. Wow. And I will pass my turn. So Strong. cool. Bear Magic. Strong. So Strong. cool. All right, start turn draw. I will play a Reveal Land, and I'm not going to reveal. So it's going to be tapped. Bear Magic, right, Dave? Bear Magic. Pass. I like the way Shane's going. <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw, and I'm going to play a Spectator Seating. I'm going to say thanks, guys, for being here. And that's going to come in untapped, and I'm just going to pass it. Her, I will draw, and I'm going to play David's favorite style of land. Mm -hmm. And this is a land that will come in tapped. And Oh, God. I'm going to pass. All right, let's kick off turn two. I'm going to play a swamp. Guys, yes. David, this is all in my hand. I really need to start drawing lands now. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, let's do this. I am going to tap Voldaren Estate, losing one life to add a white mana uh, that I can only use to cast vampire spells with. Cool. And then I will then tap the soul ring. And um, let's go ahead and drop this little dude. And so for two mana, I'm going to drop down a charismatic conqueror. He's a two mana 2-2 two -two with vigilance. And he's got this really cool thing. And I'm hoping that you guys start ramping now. And he says, whenever an artifact or a creature enters the battlefield untapped and under an opponent's control, they may tap the permanent. If they don't, I make a 1-1 one -one vampire token with lifelike. Oh, it's a nice little like, it's not staxy, but it's like, you know, it's along those lines. And I'm going to pass my turn. Interesting. I'll start. Untap up, you draw. I'm going to play Rejuvenating Springs. Thanks, guys, for being there. Hey. I'm going to tap for two. You're welcome. I'm going to play a Simic Signet. Hey, Dave. I'm going to have it come in tapped. Oh. Yeah, I'm not giving you one fun ones. That? I'm not giving you I one I mean, ones. look. You could have done nothing with that Signet this turn, or... <laughs> I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna do that. Signet. Okay, yeah. That's my turn, Hunter. Go ahead. I'm going to drop a turn. We are going to play a Command Tower, and we're going to pass the turn. Okay. Oh, on top of you, draw... I'm going to pass. Just kidding. Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp as land per turn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and tap this for one. We'll just say red for giggles. Uh, I'm going to play a Soul Ring. And hey, Steven. It'll come in tapped. Oh, we got him. We got him. It's like paying taxes, dude. I hate this. And <laughs> Vampire <it's> like... <laughs> taxes. <laughs> and uh, pass, David. You guys know I have to pay the taxes. All right. Start my turn. What in the world do we want to do? Let's tap for four, although we're only going to use three, and we are going to hurt ourselves again for Valderian Estate. We're going to drop down to 38 life. David's basically and, dead. And I am going to cast Clavelinho. Ooh, love it. Uh, go to combat. Yep. All right, and I'm going to, to declare Charismatic Conqueror as an attacker. Shane, you had every opportunity to give me a vampire, and you just didn't. So, so did I Steven. I'm going to swing it at you. <laughs> yeah, but you're right next to him. <laughs> My commander will trigger off of this, so whenever I attack, he's going to become a demon. If it is okay with you guys, if I put, like, a little death cut touch counter so, like, it has, like, a symbol for me to just, like, remember sure. what is a demon. Don't, don't think that it has death touch. It does not have death touch, <laughs> but it does have vigilance, and it's a 2-2 coming at you. I declare no blocks, David. All right. 38. All right. We did it. We got him there. Job has been done. I can no longer, like contribute in this game and i pass my turn <laughs> okay <laughs> start turn untap upkeep draw well first of all let's play a land for turn i'm gonna tap for three i'm gonna play a command sphere david i'm gonna have this come in tapped i don't like you i don't want you to have one one <laughs> just beating me already target someone else all right i will if you give me one one no <laughs> that's my turn leave me alone pass all right i'm gonna draw for turn 
I'm gonna look at my hand and play another land. We're gonna tap for three. We're gonna play a Wayward Sword Tooth. I'm gonna oh, make shit. it come in tapped because it can't attack or block without the city's <laughs> blessing anyways. And I only have four permanents. He also says I can play an additional land on each of my turns. So I will play an Exotic Orchard and I will pass. All right, untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, let's go ahead and go red, one, and two, so four total. We'll bring out Breaches. Good old Breaches. Brazen Plunderer. So, David, is that creatures and artifacts? It is, in fact, creatures and artifacts. You know what, David? I like you. I have what? a 1-1. One, one. Uh-huh. I like you, too. We're going to make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's gonna um, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Well, I just want David to have fun at the game. Do you guys uh, not want David to have fun? Dude, your 1-1 oh. one, one is a lifelinker, dude. Yeah, they make lifelink vampires. Dude, that's actually pretty dope. Steven, so why the land that's, the land that's hurting him is now white. just not going to hurt him anymore. Oh, that one. It'll be all right, I'll guys, because like it's, I mean, David's just having fun, right? Yeah. That's well, That's why people watch these videos, is to see me have fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what <laughs> Breaches does, if one or more pirates I control deal damage to an opponent, I get to exile the top card of each of those opponent's libraries. I may play those cards this turn, and I may spend mana as though were there any type. Uh, it's a 3-3 cool. with Menace. And I'm going to sadly pass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick my turn off. And fingers crossed, guys. Oh, no way. We drew did a, it. No way. We got a planes. We specifically needed a planes and we drew the planes. You it's, didn't need one. Playing, it's almost as if me playing breaches got you that planes. Dude, this was the best possible outcome. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. All right, I'm going to tap for three and I'm going to play an etchings of the chosen. Whenever in his battlefield, choose a creature type. I'm going to choose vampires. You sure? Bummer. Yeah. Um, it then says creatures that control of the chosen type get plus one plus one and I can pay one mana and sacrifice creature of the chosen type target uh, Target creature I control gains indestructible until end of turn. Um, let's go to combat mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I I'll gave you a token. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he's got vigilance. I'll let who? Hunter. Hunter. Wow I guess I'll take I gained... eight. Oh down to 32. Um, I'm gonna have my Yeah, we're gonna have my commander become a demon just in case he ends up Eat and removal and then yeah so you're gonna take some damage and i'm gonna gain some life so i will gain two life and i'm gonna go back up to 40 mm. and i pass my turn tap up keep draw we'll play unclaimed territory for a turn and i'm gonna choose merfolk guys all right i'm gonna mm -hmm. tap one and then this for my signet so that's three and i'm gonna play copla copala copala warden of the waves got there guys sorry Spe good. Spells you cast that target my merfolk cost two more to cast. And abilities uh, that you guys activate target that mer that target merfolks cost two more to activate. Dave, this is going to come in tapped. You don't get a 1-1. One, one. Sorry, ah. bud. Sorry, bud. Why are you the way you are? Because uh, I'm a mean man. He is a mean man. Oh, my God. I read this backwards. Whatever. I'm still doing it that good. way, David. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tap three again. I'm going to play Mero Rejeri. Uh, he's the Lord. So the merfolks get plus one, plus one. And whenever I cast a merfolk spell, I may tap or untap target permanent. I feel like you played this wrong. I kind of did it a little backwards, David. <laughs> hey, do you want him to come and tap, though? Thanks for calling that out, Dave. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. In my head, it was the other way around. That's why I... Uh... At this point, I'm just dumb, so I'm going to make all my stuff tapped. So you can just come and swing <laughs> on me, I think. I'm just, I might, I'm just I might full, actually do exactly that. I'm going to full commit to being dumb. So all right, that's my turn. All right. I'm going to untap draw. I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage for land for turn. We are going to tap for... Who can make green? Anybody? I can make Negative. green. You can make green? Yeah. All right, Shane. I'm going to tap for Exotic Orchard for green and a Rogue's Passage. And I'm going to Rabbit Growth. Hmm. Make it a basic. Put it on the field. That's good. You going to grab a green? Yes. Probably you need a green, dude. Grab that for us. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And I'm going to put it on the field. Dapped. And then, with my other three mana, I'm going to look at my hand and think to myself, hmm. Hmm. Is this a good idea? Or is this mm. going to eat removal? Let's go for I it. I wouldn't worry about removal until you play your commander. I'm telling you right now, this is going to eat removal. I'm going to tap for three, and we're going to play Hunting Velociraptor. That's going to mm. eat removal. <laughs> it depends. If he has a board wipe. I'm sorry, not if he has a board wipe. Because if he has a board state. Uh, that's going to come in tapped, because no thanks, Dave. And I'm going to pass my turn. You guys are no fun. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start my turn off. Untap a peep draw. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Shane, I'm going to come at you for three. Okay, bud. I declare no blocks, taking three. Cool. Uh, Shane, you can exile the top card of your library. It's a swift foot boots. God damn it. Why couldn't you have a ramp? Do you want it? Not really. Let's go ahead and tap for two and one. 
And I'm going to play a Herald's Horn, which will, funny enough, come in tapped. <laughs> Ooh, we didn't even need to do that, Dave. Did you hear that? Ah, uh, man, now Herald's Horn does the exact same thing it normally would do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and when it comes in, I'm gonna choose a creature type, and I'm gonna choose Dino. I'm uh, pirates, pirates. And I, David, it's over to you, buddy. All right, cool. You guys need to start doing things in, that are untapped. I'm gonna draw my card for the turn. You do. David, let me get some mana. I swear to God, I will. <laughs> Steven is struggling. I've already full swung at Hunter. Mm, I, think it's, I think it's Steven's turn. Yeah, it might be Steven's turn. I'm sorry. The only one at the table that gave you a vampire. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna tap. Swamp. I'm going to tap Voldaren Estate for a black, going down to 39 life. Like Shane it. doesn't have a counter spell, so I'm going to tap this one for two. So I got a total of four mana, and I'm going to cast a Sanctum Seeker. Oh, it's a 3 4, whatever a vampire control attacks. Each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. Oh, it's going to get out of hand very quickly. Uh -oh. And I am now going to go to combat. Hunter, how are we doing, huh? We, we good? We cool? We friends? We're good. Hell yeah, we got the Vlogity. You know what that means, right? Go to combat. Oh, he's, he's got Vigilance. We're not going to tap him. So I've got all three of these creatures that are going to be coming at Steven. So my Conqueror, my Commander, and then my little Vampire token. My Vampire token is going to be the one that becomes a demon in addition to its other types. Yeah, I'll take um, eight. Oh, you're going to probably take more than that. Ooh. Um, So I've also, I'm attacking with three Vampires. So Sanctum Seeger is going to trigger and have each of you lose three life and I'll gain three life. Okay, cool. Well, I'm at 32. So I'm going to go back up to 42. Oh, Dave, I'm down to 29. I am also at 29 after the attack damage and also the life loss. Yep. Um, and then I will gain two more life for my vampire that connected. Doo -doo. Going to 44. Dave is the problem. <sighs> Doo -doo -doo. I, don't, I don't think that he is. I'm going to pass my turn now. I David, you're a thousand percent said. the problem. <laughs> you know what? Somebody should board wipe then. Okay. <laughs> so you can make I, a bunch of four threes? It's only three four threes with flying. Huh. It's only 12 damage, guys. I'll start it's my only turn. only 12 damage. Untap up, keep draw. I'm going to get my commander out, I think, guys. We're going to do one for two, three, four. Hackball. Marrow's going to trigger off Hackball. Dave, I'm going to have right, it tap well, down your three, four. My three, four is now tapped. And then now Hackball enters. So I, I'm i not going to be swinging with him, Dave. So I'm going to tap him so you don't get a one, one. Sounds good. Cool. Let's move into combat and let's have some shenanigans. At the beginning of combat, Hackball triggers. I'm going to do some exploring, guys. We're going to do Coppola's explore first, sir. So reveal the top. It's a creature. I think we're going to put it into the graveyard and give this guy a plus one add counter and then i'll do marrows explore land i'll put that in my hand all right hackball is going to explore as well guys hey that's a land uh, i needed those hand. lands can you stop uh you uh, stop? i'm sorry dude that's a lot of card draw i like him he's pretty good right well i'm gonna swing coppola at you dave coppola he is getting a plus one plus one from the lord as well so he's a four four right now nice all right well i'm gonna say no blocks Cool. Got him back I down will, to 40. Got him to 40, guys. Go to 40. David is such a pro. <laughs> he really is, dude. He's really not. Pass at that. Cool. I'm going to untap draw. Hunter, I'm willing to take some damage here for you to start dealing with David. Whoa. That's cool. That's gotcha. quite the deal, yeah. Swing at 3 2 at Steven. Hunter, I'll take three. Pow. 1 2 3 going down to 26. Now my dinosaurs cost three. Which That's so I, crazy, dude. <laughs> which I will go ahead and say red and three for my commander. Uh, when Pantlaza enters, I'm going to discover X, which is four. So let's look for something that costs four. There we go. There's one. Uh, and I'm just going to put that into my hand because the discover mechanic is pretty cool. What was it? It was a heroic intervention. Heroic intervention. Oh. oh now we know. I'm going to go ahead and tap an additional three, and we are going to cast an Earthshaker Dreadmaw. Um, real quick, by the way, are these creatures coming in tapped or like what's happening here? Oh, yeah, shit. Dave, it's coming in tapped just for you. Okay, just checking. Earthstrick Dreadmaw enters. When he enters, I'm going to draw a card for each other dinosaur I control. So one, two, three. That's a lot of dinosaurs that just came on the board. Ooh. I'm ascended. Oh. Look at me. You can block, Hunter. With that being said, I don't have any other play, and I kind of feel like I should block my life total of 29, so I'm just going to pass. Heard. Untap, upkeep, herald horn will trigger. Is it a land? Well, it's not a pirate. It's not a land. Unfortunately. Is it a vampire? Uh, it is not any sounds of like those a, things. Sounds like a spell. Okay. Shane, I'm just going to attack. So here's my reasoning. All right. So okay. Hunter's at 29. I'm at 26. You're at 32. We'll see what happens when we go around the table. Shane, I'm going to go ahead and swing at you for three. Yep. All right. One, go ahead two, and exit. I'm at 29. Card. Hey, that's unfortunate. It's a beast within. It's a beast within. 
it's not unfortunate because I can I can play it. That's true. You can use any mana. We'll play for three, and we'll go ahead and beast within the uh, the etchings. I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna pay for my my white mana. I'm gonna sacrifice my little vampire life linker. He's gonna die. Um, I'll give Sanctum. You know what? No, I'm gonna give the Charismatic Conqueror indestructible until I hit a turn, and then I am going to make a vampire demon comes in tapped and a three three. And yeah, I'm gonna make a three three. That's a, a vampire beast token, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and unfortunately, guys, that's all I can do. I'll pass turn. So that's sadness. That was that was a lot of fun for me. That just got eliminated. Uh, your board looks just as fun. Off. Um, let's play a tainted field. We finally have a second black source. Well, let's do this. Black, black, and two. And I will cast a Whip of Erebos. Ooh. Creatures I control have lifelink, and I can pay four mana to return a creature card from my graveyard back to the battlefield. It gains haste. Jesus and then I exile at the beginning of the next step. This is going to be fun. David's steamrolling um, at this point, dude. Fuck. Let's do a black and a white, so I will lose one life, going down to 39, and I will cast a Cruel Celebrant. <laughs> Whenever another creature I control dies, each opponent loses a life, and I gain a life. I'm going to go to combat, and we are going to send the Charismatic Conqueror and my commander, both at Steven. I'm going to send this Beast and the Sanctum Sunseeker, both at Shane, and I will send my Vampire Demon at Hunter. So real quick, I do have a couple of triggers on the stack. Whenever I attack, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make Sanctum Seeker a demon. Um, I'm also going to have you guys drain a little bit. So I'm attacking with one, two, three, four vampires. So you guys will each lose four life, and I will gain four life. Down to 25 from that to, drain. Down to 25. 22. And I will go to 43. Um, I have six damage coming at you, Shane. No blocks. Down to 19. Okay. Um, Hunter, I have... Oh, you can't, you killed my thingy, man. It, it's just four. In the air. Rude. It is in the air. Down to 21. And then, uh, Shane, or I'm sorry, Steven, I've got four coming at you. Down to 18. Cool. All of my creatures have lifelink, so I will gain one, two, three, four. Let's see. That's 10, 14. 14 life, and I will go to 57. Huh. Cool. You and I will pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I have had my fun. Yeah, Dave, I've you're, enjoyed you're this going deck. crazy, dude. I think it's time that somebody probably punishes me, so here we go. <laughs> I'm going to play an island for turn. We're going to cast five. I'm going to cast Raise the Palisade. I'm going to choose Merfolk, and I'm going to return all creatures that aren't the chosen type to their owner's hand. Cool. <clears throat> Man. So these tokens are going to fizzle and fade off into the nothingness, and then my creatures will go back into my hand. Same with mine. Back Guys, I dealt, with, I dealt with David. Steven, that was for you, bud. All right, Shane. Right. That's very I'm impressive. Not... Thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome, Steven. I'm proud. I'm not. No, full swing Actually, you know, I'm kind of sad. I had dinosaurs. All right, we're going to move to combat. At the beginning of combat, all my motorfolk are going to explore. We'll start with uh, this guy, the first one, Coppola. All right, Path of Ancestry will go into my hand. We'll do one for Mero. Hmm. I'm going to put that in my graveyard, give him a counter, and then now we'll do Hackball. Put that land into my hand. Dude, that's, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> now we're going to full swing at David. Gasp. And uh, Hackball, all right. hackball triggers trigger. on his attack, yes, sir. I'm going to play a land from my hand. I'm gonna play Hinterland Harbor. The hackball seems pretty good. All right, David, that's damn. That's a uh, attacks at you, bud. Okay. Well, I obviously can't block, so I'm gonna take 11 and go all the way down to 46. <laughs> yeah. All Jesus. the way down. Damn. And David. That is four. That is four commander. Was everyone? It is four commander. On you, dude. I Seriously. don't know, dude. You guys are all being mean. All right. I'm no longer a threat, guys. Can we be okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could be okay. We'll wait till your turn. <laughs> See, according to main phase two, I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna play a deep root waters. So whenever I cast a Merfolk spell, I get to create a 1-1 one, one blue Merfolk. Creature token with X-proof. Who's the token tech now? Me! Pass my turn. All right, let's untap draw. So I'm going to tap for four, and I'm going to play the monster manual. Oh. We're going to pay two and tap the monster manual to play a creature from my hand onto the battlefield. We're just going to put oh. Pantlaza back on the field, my commander. That was in my hand. Because he enters, uh, I'm going to go ahead and discover four. That's one. It's going on the field. This that's nice. On the bottom. And that's all I can do because I'm still not drawing land, so I'm going to have to go to discard to discard three cards. Three cards. Wow. All right. Well, let's go to untap upkeep draw. My upkeep herald horn will trigger. It is not a pirate, but it is an exotic orchard. Oh, hey. snap. He's got mana and colors. Dude, you have blue now. So we'll go blue and red and one. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and cast ourselves a Prismari command. I'm gonna guess what you're gonna do. You're gonna draw what two cards gonna and discard two cards, and you're gonna make a treasure. Because that's what you Wow. Do. Hunter, that is man, that's a good option, but that destroy target artifact. I'm gonna go with Hunter's option. I'm gonna draw two cards, discard two cards, and I'm gonna create a treasure token. That's Ooh, thank right. God. I was really, really hoping that you would not hit my soul ring. <laughs> I All thought right, you had so, a soul ring. That would have been cool. And you know what, guys? What? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this treasure token for a blue. Tap this for two uh, with the reduction of one. I'm going to go ahead and cast a Kite Sail Larcenist. Mm. Oh, that's not good. When this enters the battlefield for each player, choose up to one other target artifact or creature that player controls. For as long as Kite Sail Larcenist remains on the battlefield, the chosen permanent becomes a treasure artifact with sacrifice this artifact at one man of any color and lose all other abilities. Uh, David, I'm going to choose your soul ring. Good choice. Shane, I'm going to go ahead and just pick your commander sphere. And my last target will be monster manual. Cool. So I, those are my targets. Any responses to targets? Yeah, Steve, I'm just going to sack this and draw a card. Okay. All right. That's well, it. he's done his thing. I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn to you, David. All right. Well, this is not ideal. I'm going to tap. Let's do one. No, we're going to do this. One and two if my clicker will work. And I will cast the Charismatic Conqueror. Oh, whoa, the token stayed on. Remove. So we're gonna play that, and uh, that's all I've got. You guys have done a pretty good job of shutting my deck down, at least for the time being. Uh, I passed my turn. That is all you got? What? Yeah. Show me I, what I you got. Can't really do anything else. All right, I'll start my turn on tap, upkeep draw. I'm gonna play Path of Ancestry, tap for my turn. I'm gonna tap for five. So we'll do one for two, five. I'm gonna play Mist Dancer. It is a flying merfolk that says other merfolks you control get plus one, plus zero, and have flying. So I'm going to tap one, two, and I'll pop the soul ring treasure to cat. Whoops, not XO. To cast a swords, two plowshares targeting your commander in response to the cast. My commander? You son of a bitch. <laughs> I, can't, I can't let you kick this off because I don't actually think I take another turn. With 46 damage, you don't take another Okay. I'll gain four life, David. One, two, three, four. Going to 23. So now I have deep root waters activate. Or trigger, sorry. I'm gonna make a little token. Mirror folk with hex proof. So deep root has the Murpo come in, David. I'll have it come in tapped so you don't get one one. And then also Marrow has a trigger from me casting a Murfolk. I'm going to untap a permanent. So I'm gonna untap you know what? I like what Steven said last time. I'm gonna untap a land <laughs> of mine. And now finally Mist Dancer comes in and it'll be tapped, David. No one one cool. for you. That was so many things happening. And I'll go to combat. I'm gonna swing both my guys at you, David. Okay. Um, I will take seven, and I will drop down to 39. I don't think you're dead yet, Dave. I'm fully tapped out, so you can swing at me, bud. I'm going to pass. It's, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to untap draw. We found a land. Uh-oh. We're going to tap for one, two, three, and four, and we're going to play a Ripjaw Tyrant. Ripjaw Tyrant has a toughness of five, so I will discover five. Here we go. One. That's, that's the part where he combos off. That's a nah. hit. Ooh. That's a hit. Do it. Yeah, we're going to cast Chandra's Condition. I'm going to do four damage to everything on the board. All right. My Conquer will die. So now everything's going to die? Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, so that'll deal damage to four, to everything, including your guys' face. Cool. I will go down to Yikes. 35. I am going to go down to 14. I'm back to 19. Uh, so I did four damage using uh, good old Pant Lazas. So Drover the Mighty died from my side, and... Because Ripjaw Tyrant got hit, I'm going to draw a card. Pay two here for the monster manual, and we will get down a Verdant Sun's Avatar. Ooh. Ooh. We will go to combat, and we will swing my Pantlaza over at you, Dave. I will go down to 31 and take four from your commander. Hey, we're doing things. Look, you're still alive, dude. From Pantlaza. Pantlaza. Am I still alive? You're at yeah, 31. I'd say so. Very much so. Steven's I got 14. a two drop coming next turn. Steven I don't has think it's three helping. lands at 14. St Steven, that's <laughs> all on so, you, buddy. I'm so fucked. All right. Uh, untap upkeep. I will trigger Herald Torn. It is not a pirate, but it's a mountain. Look at that. So we'll play a mountain as land for turn. And I think I'm going to do something I never thought I'd do, guys. Do it. Whoa. That's your commander. I'm going to cast my commander. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I'm going to go blue, black, and red. And this for two, subtracted by one, because Harold's okay. horn. I'm going to cast Admiral Brass Unsinkable. Wait, why can't she sink? Can she walk on water? She's I, don't I don't know. know. She's, She's unsinkable. Yeah. 
Uh, ETB, I'm gonna mill four cards. One, two, three, that sucks. And four. Uh, I'm gonna use this black and the one floating and I'm gonna cast an unmarked grave. I'm gonna search my library uh -oh. for a non-legendary card. I'm gonna put that card into the graveyard. Let me double check, this is non-legendary. All right, it is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pirated copy. Ooh, you wouldn't copy a car, would you? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, at the beginning of combat on my turn, I return a target pirate card uh, from my graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. It's got pace power 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I'm gonna bring in pirated copy. When this enters the battlefield, uh, it enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's a pirate in addition to its other types and has whenever this creature or another creature with the same name deals combat damage to a player, I may draw a card. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little frisky. Let's go ahead and get a little, oh, big pant lazo. You know what's pretty yeah. interesting? In your what? upgrade video, Steven, you said, how about a pirate dinosaur? I did say that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna discover four. Nice. That is Pitiless Plunder. <laughs> That's care. cool. And we were worried Steven wasn't gonna play. Thank fucking God. I've done at least one cool thing with a pirate deck. And you got a pirate dino. I'm, I'm, I got a pirate dino. I mean, how, how much more could you ask for? My pant Laza has haste. Yeah. That's crazy. David, take four. Sweet. All right, <laughs> so I got four coming at me. I'm gonna drop down one, two, three, four, and I'm at 27. We got him to the All 20s. Right. I need a Finally. Board. All right, let's kick my turn off. I will start my turn. All right, I'm gonna pay one, two, and three, and I will cast a Welcoming Vampire. It is a two, three with flying. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I can draw a card. It only does that once per turn. Cool. And I will pass my turn. Sweet, short. That's that backwards. All right, start turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a land for turn. That's a lot of land. I'm gonna tap for six, and we're gonna bring out Hackball. I tapped Path of Ancestry for Hackball, so I will scry and put that back on. Move to top library. Deep root triggers. I will make a one one. Merfolk. Hunter or David, I can have all my stuff coming untapped. It's great. Yep, my card is gone. I love it. <laughs> I will move to combat. Beginning of combat, hackball. And my other merfolk are gonna explore. So we'll do hackball. Hey look, I liked that card. We're gonna what keep the fuck it there. Is that? <laughs> so that's gonna stay there. He'll get a plus one. And then token will do the same thing. Oh look, same thing. Oops. Put back on top. This guy gets a token. Sorry, this guy I gets counter. What are you gonna draw? I wonder what I'm gonna draw, dude. Yeah. And then uh, I move out of combat because nothing has haste, and I pass my turn. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I'm gonna tap for two and do the monster manual, and we are gonna bring out. I'm scared. That'd be cool. I think it'd just be death. I wear sword tooth. Oh, hey, we know that card. Hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just one. Okay. Not that bad. So I'm gonna discover for five. Actually, there's a couple things that happen. So first, I'm gonna gain five life because it entered. I'm back up to 26. Uh -oh, Is that a problem? He might be. Yes. And then I'm going to discover <laughs> five. And that's a hit. Um, uh, I think with that card, you might be the problem. I'm going to draw cards equal to the greatest power. I'm going to do that right now. So five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to tap for a green, green. And we're going to just play a gall to Primal Hunger. Heard Jesus. that. That is going to gain me 12 life, going up to 38. Okay. I tried, guys. <laughs> we need a board wipe, Steven. <laughs> Let's go to combat. You said you wouldn't swing at me. <laughs> you said you wouldn't swing at me either, dude. You also said you wouldn't swing at me. Well, I think that. only one of us is telling the truth. And that'd be me. Yeah, and it's definitely me. I'm swinging me. these three over at D -d 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 David. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I have no blocks. No blocks. You're taking five, nine, uh, 13. Take my 13. I am at 14. And Trigger, trigger on the stack. David took damage. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Is it? Oh, because yeah, you have a dino Laza. thing? Pain Laza, yeah. Yep, because Pirate oh, Copy says whenever this creature or another creature with the same name. Whoa, oh, that's cool. synergy. Um, and then Pant Laza also does four more commanders, so you're going to be up to eight. All right, Dave, we put you down to our level now. I'm going to go to main problem. phase two. I'm going to tap for a plains and a green, and I will play a Thunderherd Migration. As an initial cost to cast, cast this spell, I can reveal a dinosaur card. Hey, guys, remember this one? Yep, yeah. we remember. Yeah. So man. Uh, I'm gonna search my library for a basic land card, but I'm about to tap. Hmm. I think we're gonna die to dinosaurs, guys. It's pretty we're gonna go ahead and get uh, just a mountain. That goes on the battlefield tapped. We are going to end my turn and we're gonna discard a card. We're gonna get rid of the dinosaur egg. Get it out of there. Get it going. Alright. Uh untap upkeep trigger Herald's horn. It is a pirate, so I will reveal a gem cutter buccaneer. I'll put that, that in my hand and then I will draw a card. What's a third of thirty-eight? Oh my god. I know Sorry. what card you have in your hand, dude. A 
third of 38. Yeah. 13. All right, well, let's play <laughs> a Swamp as Land for turn, I guess. I know it's coming. I think yes. I'm going to go black and then two reduced by one for a skeleton crew. Oh, it's a cool card. Let's go black, black, and then one and two. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and play a Dire Fleet Ravager reduced there by one because of Herald Horn. Uh, so ETB, each player loses a third of their life rounded up. Oh, man. I what? am getting hurt here. <laughs> What's a third of my life rounded up? Shane's life is 6.3, so he would lose seven. What's mine, David? Shit. Uh, round it up, I yeah, guess. Yeah, round up, so seven. Uh, we both lose five, Steven. Heard. Well, I'm down to 12, dude. dude. Five. I'm down to nine life. I'm, I'm down to, to nine as well. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and move to combat now. Uh, at combat, I get to bring a pirate back. How do you deal with Hunter's 12-12? That's the question. Uh, I can get rid of it, or I can just tap it down. And then you should do those things. I'm going to bring back the kite tail. Uh, so this does target everybody's stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and target the whip of Erebus. Yep. I'm giving you, I'm letting you have your creature. All right. So unfortunately, you Shane, I'm going to target, target your, yeah, I'll target your signet. So that way you still have some mana. Okay. Hunter, I'm going to target Galta. In response. In response. A heroic intervention. Heroic intervention. Heard. Make it use it. You had to make him use it, dude. Or and I'm sorry. Uh, whenever a uh, creature leaves my graveyard, I make a 2-2 with the black skeleton pirate creature. Skeleton pirate. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I will swing. Uh, just in case you guys can do something, I'm going to swing three in the air over at you, Hunter. <laughs> I cannot block it in a flyer, so I will take three going to 22. And I will pass. That was so much for so little. I mean, dude, I just <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what else to do, man. I'm sorry. Um, okay, I'm gonna play a swamp as my land for the turn. Let's do one, two. I will cast a cruel celebrant. Yeah, cruel celebrant has one power and only two toughness, so <laughs> it at being uh, is gonna trigger well, welcoming vampire. So I will draw a card. I'm gonna cast captivating vampire for my three mana. Um, other vampire creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Yay! Cool. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to combat, Steven. I told you I would contribute. I'm gonna contribute. Okay, Hunter. I have three in the air coming at you. Take three going down to 19. Cool, I'm done. That we, was my we turn. We found his weakness, guys. Flyers. Hunter, Hunter's going to play a 6-6 six, six and fucking gain, gain six life. Yeah. Oh, sorry, turn on tap. I'll keep draw. All right, guys, I'm going to tap for seven, and I'm going to crack this for the seventh. I'm going to encore out this misstance of the died earlier. So for I'm going to exile it out of my graveyard, and for each of my opponents, I'm going to create a token that attacks that opponent this turn, if able, and then it gains haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. So I'll exile this out. I think Shane Dude. just killed you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I will now move into combat, and we're going to explore a shit ton. We'll do hack balls first. Oop, that's something. I'm going to put that in my graveyard. Give him a counter. All right, for the merfolk, oh, yeah, I'll just leave that on top now. Put a counter on him. The missed answer. Keep doing that. Oh, I didn't mean to draw that. Oh, I did I counter. Do it again. Add a counter. Do it again. Add a counter. And now we'll go and do some damage. So sorry guys, but one of these has to go at each of you. Each of you. Yep. Yep. And then the, these will go at Hunter. Everything has flying now. So just coming at you guys, Steven and David, will be this four four. But then they're getting plus one plus zero from the other Mist Dancers, so they're gonna get two more uh, plus right. two plus zero. So that's gonna be six cool. at least coming at you guys. Yeah. We're both gonna go to three. And Hunter, these three that are coming at you, that's gonna equal twenty, dude. Sweet. And they're flying, so you're gonna block them or I'm dead. Damn. You, you killed me. We did it. We got Hunter. We did it. Well, we did, <laughs> but then like Down guys, the dinos. It actually did take my flyer. I mean, yeah. And I'm me swinging too, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Three we won. All, we you all guys won. got me. <laughs> we all win this. I game. mean, to be fair, you were scary dinos, dude. Yeah, I played one dino. <laughs> so I guess I'll go to my end step and I have to sacrifice these three. So that was a fun turn. Go yeah, ahead, Steve. All right. Untap, upkeep, I will reveal a pirate. I'll put it in my hand. I'll draw. That was a mistake. <laughs> eh. I'm going to move to combat. Uh, no responses, so I'll go ahead and bring back Port Razor. Uh, whenever Port Razor deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature I control after this combat phase. There's an additional combat phase. Port Razor can't attack a player that has already attacked this turn. Steven, I think you were going to kill Shane. I, th I think I messed up, dude. You shouldn't have killed the dino guy. I, oh, I think that was still a correct I feel like play. you were going to kill us the next turn, though. I didn't know what to do. Fane, I am I am only <laughs> going to swing these three at you. 
Okay. So this is four, five, so four, eight, nine. Nine total damage. Okay. And then I'm going to tap for a black and a red, and I'm going to cast a Rakdos charm. Each creature deals one damage to its controller. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm dead. We're all dead. Damn it. We're all dead. We're all pirates, dead. Pirates, pirates won. Yeah, Hooray. Pirates it would be so good if my creature still had lifelink. Dude, God, that, that would, would suck. Awesome. <laughs> hey, good game, guys. And that is going to do it for us today. I think we showcased those decks pretty well. Uh, they did what they needed to do. Let's start off with the winner, I think. Question mark, uh, I mean, yeah. Question mark. <laughs> Steven, how was your Pirates? I was very rough at the beginning, and I appreciate all of you for leaving me alone as much as you could uh, so I could kind of ramp back up there. But, I mean, it just kind of goes to show you any deck that can mess around with the graveyard and bring in stuff back really just, like, just it just rockets. <laughs> graveyard manipulation is just intense. Um, so I was playing the Vampires deck. Um, I definitely think that it popped off in the very beginning, but I think I was maybe like a victim of turn one Soul Ring and not really able to follow it up to a ton. Um, once my opponents were able to interact, it shut down this deck really hard. So that initial bounce, I felt like just kind of took me out of the game, but still had quite a bit of fun. Got to see this thing pop off, at least in the early game. Let me tell you, I popped off all right. The Merfolk deck was a ton of fun. I think all of you said at one point that that kind of seems broken just because the amount of <laughs> either card draw that I was having from Hackball or just all the Explore triggers. This deck seems very mean. I think this was definitely pi pilot error because <laughs> I did, I'd made definitely some mistakes there. Like, I don't know, Hunter, I'm sorry I killed you. That might not have been the play. Maybe it was. You were going to probably win that next turn, but I don't know. I thought I could do more damage than I did, and I just, I just kind of died. That was just kind of bad, but I liked the deck a lot. It was fun. Yeah, you're probably right. I might have won that next game. You guys were all pretty <laughs> low enough, and I was going to gain life because of Virgin Sun's Avatar is still in the field. <sighs> Dinos did Dinos thing, and I was like, that was very exciting. I like it. Um, Pentlaz is a lot of fun. I think all four of these decks in general all seem pretty balanced to each other, which is one of the first times we've really kind of done that on the channel. Usually one just pops off more than the other or something like that, but I felt like throughout the entire game, all four of these decks did what they wanted to do. That was awesome. Uh, but that is going to do it for us today. If you guys wanted to see these decks and why we made them, check the description down below again. You will find links to all of our $100 upgrade videos as well as the deck lists that we played with today. In the description, you will also find links to our social media accounts. That's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, at Guys at Magic for each one, as well as our Patreon. If you guys wanted to see even more gameplays than just the ones you see on this YouTube channel, we got them over on Patreon as well as Discord access and maybe some giveaways. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and until the next video, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Later. Bye. Bye-bye.